Hi, and welcome to your 8th lecture in Russian for Complete Beginners, in which we will focus on numbers 0 to 50 and how to talk about age. Now let's start with numbers. I will read each number out twice and I would encourage you to repeat after me. Ноль. Ноль. Один. Один. Два. Два. Три. Три. Четыре. Четыре. Пять. Пять. Шесть. Шесть. Семь. Семь. Восемь. Восемь. Девять. Девять. Десять. Десять. Excellent. Well done. Now let's have a look at the teen numbers 11 to 19. As with other languages, teen numbers have the same ending in Russian, which is natsit. Natsit. We add this ending to numbers 1 to 9. Please repeat after me. Одиннадцать. Одиннадцать. Двенадцать. Двенадцать. Тринадцать. Тринадцать. Четырнадцать. Четырнадцать. Пятнадцать. Пятнадцать. Шестнадцать. Шестнадцать. Семнадцать. Семнадцать. Восемнадцать. Восемнадцать. Девятнадцать. Девятнадцать. Excellent. Well done. Please feel free to pause and rewind any section of this lecture as many times as necessary to practice the pronunciation of the numbers. Now let's have a look at numbers 20 to 50. Двадцать. Двадцать. Тридцать. Тридцать. Сорок. Сорок. Пятьдесят. Пятьдесят. Excellent. Well done. Now numbers 20 and 30 have a shorter version of a teen ending. Sat. 40 is a complete exception as it doesn't look anything like 4. Whereas 50 looks like 5 times 10. Пятьдесят. To say 21 or 22, all we have to do is follow the same pattern as we do in English. So 21 becomes 21. 22 becomes 22. And so on. Now let's have a look at how we can use numbers in a simple conversation. I'm going to read the dialogue till the end first and then translate it. Мой номер телефона семь четыре девять пять семь восемь два четыре ноль девять два. А твой? Мой номер телефона семь четыре девять пять три пять четыре четыре шесть восемь девять. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. My phone number is 7-495-782-4092. And yours? My phone number is 7-495-354-4689. Thank you. You're welcome. Now please note that the word phone, телефон, changes its ending slightly in the phrase phone number because it literally stands for the number of the phone. So, номер телефона. Let's have a look at the next dialogue. 
6 и 7. Это 13? Да. 5 и 9. Это 16? Нет. Это 14. Ну, конечно. Извини. 6 and 7. Is it 13? Yes. 5 and 9. Is it 16? No, it's 14. Well, of course. Sorry. Now let's see how we can use these new numbers to talk about age. So far, we have come across four question tags. Кто, who, что, what, как, how, and где, where. Here, we have a new question tag, which stands for how much or how many. Сколько? Сколько? So a formal question, how old are you, becomes Сколько вам лет? Whereas informal, how old are you, becomes Сколько тебе лет? In the first question, вам is a form of вы or a formal way to address somebody. In the second question, тебе is a form of ты or an informal way to address somebody. Лет here stands for years. Now, there is a certain pattern that we have to keep in mind when talking about age or any construction that involves numbers in Russian, such as telling time or talking about prices of items in the shops. Supplementary material attached to this lecture contains more in-depth explanation of these new forms. But for now, this is what we have to remember. In order to answer the question, to talk about your age, we're going to use мне instead of я. Мне is a form of I, я, but in what we call dative case, and they literally translate as to me. Мне will be followed by the number of years, and then either год, года, or лет. Год stands for years, года is a slightly different form of год, and лет is an irregular form of plural years. Now, here is the pattern that we have to keep in mind. If the number of years either is one or ends in one, we're going to finish the statement with got. If the number of years is two, three, four, or ends in two, three, or four, we're going to finish the statement with goda. For all the other numbers, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero, plus all the teen numbers, we're going to finish the statement with let. But let's have a look at some examples. I'm going to read each dialogue out first, and then translate it. Сколько вам лет? Мне сорок один год. How old are you? I'm forty-one years old. Сколько тебе лет? Мне Двадцать лет. How old are you? I am twenty years old. Сколько вам лет? Мне тридцать три года. How old are you? I'm thirty-three years old. Сколько тебе лет? Мне одиннадцать лет. How old are you? I am eleven years old. Now let's have a look at the extensive list of all personal pronouns in dative case, which are needed for the age construction. I'm going to read each word out twice, and I would encourage you to repeat after me. Мне. Мне. Тебе. Тебе. Ему. Ему. Ей. Ей. Нам. Нам. Вам. Вам. Им. Им. Excellent. Well done. Lastly, let's see how we can use this new information in a simple conversation. I'm going to read the dialogue till the end first and then translate it. Привет. Ты знаешь, где Андрей? Да, он там. А это кто? Я думаю, что это его сестра. Интересно, сколько ей лет? 
Наверное, двадцать пять? Нет, я думаю, ей двадцать один год. Hi, do you know where Andre is? Yes, he's there. And who is this? I think that is his sister. Interesting. How old is she? Probably twenty-five? No, I think she's twenty-one years old. Please note that что can also stand for that, as we can see in this phrase here. Я думаю что. I think that. Let's have a look at the next dialogue. Это твои дети? Да. Это мой сын Володя, а это моя дочка Лена. Сколько им лет? Ему пять лет, а ей два года. Очень приятно, Володя и Лена. Are these your children? Yes, this is my son Володя, and this is my daughter Lena. How old are they? He is five years old, and she is two years old. Nice to meet you, Володя and Lena. As usual, please feel free to pause and rewind any section of this lecture in order to practice your pronunciation. Well done. You have worked really hard in this lecture, and you have done really well. You've learned how to use numbers. Zero to fifty, and how to talk about age. Overall, including the additional vocabulary in the supplementary materials attached to this lecture, you have familiarized yourselves with forty-four new Russian words. As usual, remember to download the supplementary material, which contains additional new vocabulary, as well as the test yourself file with exercises designed to reinforce the new information covered in this lecture. Also. Please continue working on your personal profile that we started in lecture five, and based on this lecture, you can now add information about your age and your phone number. Thank you for today, and speak to you soon.